Wednesday, April 19th, 2017. Welcome to Kyle's, aka Mr. Monkey Man's vlog, aka my rant, my raves, and just random crap that I feel like talking about. <coughs> Sorry. Oh, as of searching Facebook for the last week, like I always do, outside of my favorite people sharing their random crazy memes. Um, a lot of stuff going on in the news. I don't trust 99% of what I see article-wise on Facebook at all, just because it doesn't... A lot of it's not real. A lot of it's not, ad, not legit, not actually what it really is. And... Fake news gets passed around a lot. It happens. I post I post probably fake news stuff all the time. Why? Just because I can. I do a lot of that just to, I don't know. I guess I, I, I do know. I do it for the sheer fact that people get bugged out by it. Oh my god! And shit over simple, simple posts. And stuff, which is fine. Everybody's, as I'm always gonna always say and always will say, every title their own opinions. Um, no one's wrong for having their own opinion on anything at all. The moment someone tries telling you you're wrong for having your own opinion, that person's stupid. We have the freedom of choice, the freedom of will, to choose how we choose, to do how we want to do. It's all by choice. Now that I've gotten off topic, let's get back on topic a little bit. Oh, man. Last week, the United holding the United Airlines thing, fiasco. Yeah, the security went a little far with manhandling the, guy, manhandling the doctor like they did. But there and again, when you buy your ticket and sign for that shit, in the, there's a clauses in there that says, in situations like that, you can and will be bumped. It's not like they're kicking you off your flight and that's it. Uh, I, I, if I do remember right, I believe you get your flight refunded. And they also try to get you out on the next possible flight to your destination. As well as giving you vou uh, vouchers for s hotel stay, food, of like 800 bucks. Damn. I want them to cancel a flight on me. Free $800? Just for saying, just for a minor inconvenience? Because it happens. Planes get delayed due to weather, due to mechanical failure. Yes, this isn't about a plane being, a flight being delayed. But still, it happens. What happens if the flight got delayed? Is this doctor going to sit there and scream at the airlines and throw a freaking hissy fit because of the weather? Let them try. I mean, there's nothing you can do about it. The weather's going to do what it's going to do. I And it's just... It's crazy. Just crazy. A whole lot of Trump news. Lots and lots of Trump news. Everybody's talking about Trump. You know, it's just how it is. And we all talk about Obama. People are still talking about Obama. People are still talking about Hillary Clinton. I mean, everybody's going to. It's just how life is. <coughs> and, you know... I just take all that as stuff in stride. I find it some of it funny. And, yeah. I'm not going to really go into too much on the political front here. Just because I don't really like talking politics truly that much. But, you know. It's just you know, how it is. <laughs> oh, yeah. That whole uh, chick, uh, <laughs> chick at Berkeley getting punched by a Marine. I've seen so many people... So many people saying he was wrong for doing what he did. I find that that point of view stupid on two major fronts. One, the whole equality issue. Everyone wants to be treated equal. Well, why are you getting mad at that a guy punched a chick? Equal rights. She wants to be treated equal, which is great. Secondly, he defused a bomb situation as she was making homemade bombs by throwing freaking M80s and freaking big wine bottles and throwing them into crowds. What's that do? 
Let's see, that's a massive explosion with freaking shards of glass flying everywhere. She was a domestic threat to people's lives. I salute that or I salute that person for what he did. I, I've seen so many articles saying he's a racist, Nazi, bigot, blah 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 blah. Cool. So what I mean, yeah, if he is, he is. But what he did wasn't any of those. Yeah, everybody has the right to protest. Protest. Writing is a completely different thing. All these people that are getting paid paid to write think, oh, it's just a freaking great old time. I'm being paid to destroy shit and I'm going to get away with it and yada, yada, yada. And when someone like that comes along and stops them, they start crying like little freaking babies. <laughs> I think this person stopped me from writing or I got, or, or I got arrested. That's not fair. You can't arrest me for doing illegal activities. What? Rewind. Illegal. Illegal. Not legal activities. No. Illegal activities. You had it coming. Don't threaten violence on somebody if you don't expect it back. I mean... Uh, People are so freaking stupid nowadays. I mean, this is dumb, in my point of view. Protest all you want. Do it, that's great. Fuck yeah, let's protest. But when you start rioting and start breaking property and stuff, that, that doesn't get you anywhere. That pushes it back even farther than, than anything. I mean, it just doesn't make sense. If you want to get your point across, do it with your words and actions. And by actions, not fucking illegal actions. I mean, with the way everything is nowadays and how big social media is and stuff, wor the word gets out really, really quickly. And I just... Yeah. The next thing on the new, the whole Facebook news is that whole Facebook guy, killer guy. My, uh, my condolences to the family. I just, that old man didn't deserve to die. None of those, none of the victims deserved what happened. It's just truly a sad situation that something like that could happen. And it's fucked the fuck up that Facebook allowed that to go on as long as they did. I know so many of my Facebook friends getting Facebook jailed over random stupid memes, random po you know po po uh, you know posts, dirtier posts, and then shit like that's allowed. Really? Really? Why? I just... Ah! Uh, other than that, I mean, man, I don't really got much else to rant about about from Facebook. I'm trying to think on that. I think that was about it. Life in general? Yeah, it's going okay. Works work. I don't do a whole lot of it. Some days, other days, yeah. Definitely not like I used to. But there is really no doing that yet, which is really disheartening to me. Word to the wise, never, ever be too near a forklift, especially with someone that doesn't pay attention when they're backing up. After having one roll up my foot and leg almost up to my knee. I can tell you right now, Nothing scarier than seeing your leg and your leg pancake to the ground. About that big. Okay, maybe about that. Can't quite remember, but it's pretty flat. And of course, me. 
good old me and my me getting hurt. My adrenaline kicks in. Just like I'm pretty sure everybody's does. Gets up and walks away. Well, gets up, takes a good five steps on a broken foot and broken foot and ankle. Yeah, it was fun. Bad, bad, bad experience. Having to deal with a bunch of crap with a couple of doctors, a couple of the hospital, one of the hospitals I went to. That's just annoying. Extra money out out of the pocket that I'm not shouldn't have to pay and try not to have to pay because it should be covered by my insurance. <clears throat> Outside of that, I decided to break down and ended up buying a PS4 not too long ago for about 220 bucks. Brand new. It's a nice. It's a very nice. Until I found out you have to pay a subscription fee to play online with people. Still less than Xbox. Not as good as the computer. Less games. But still gets a plus because... It's different than the computer. And on that front, I play World of Warcraft, as y'all know. And... I'm at the point with my gameplay and just how how I've been playing the auction house and rolling out. I haven't paid cash to play that game in almost a year, over a year, just a little over a year now. Because they have introduced uh, WoW tokens, which are uh, cost you X amount of gold in-game gold for a month of game time. And then nowadays, $15 battle net balance or your month of WoW. Um, last month, last two months, I made so much money, so much gold on the game that I was able to buy six tokens, turn two of those into two months of game time, and I turned four of those into $60 balance with Battle.net that I'm holding on to until the next expansion of WoW comes out, which should cost me right about the 60 Therefore, playing the game, I paid for the game, for the script subscription and an expansion itself. Can't pass that up. Took me a lot of time. A lot of work. Not a lot of time. Whole lot of auction house flipping. Buying stuff. And crafting it out. Oh yeah. Learn that a little bit. Fiance's birthday is coming up on Friday. Very, very excited. I took the day off. Forgot she couldn't get it off. Decided, screw it, I have vacation. I'm going to use it and have a three-day weekend. Nice, can be nice and relaxing. And for all of my uh, Facebook friends from the Pot Farm game, if you made it this far along, life on the outside of the game is kind of nice. I missed you guys a lot. And it's been nice getting back into the community again and chatting with a few of you. It was definitely weird. I can say after about two weeks of not being on Facebook, for that three, four months or so I was off. After about two weeks, I didn't miss it anymore. In fact, when it would pop up on my phone on accident, when I was search getting online and searching around the internet, it kind of annoyed me that it popped up. Now I'm, I go back to check in at every break at work, and of course I sit on it after work a bunch, because I'm just like everybody else. I'm stuck on the social media. On a, on a personal front, our cats are going to be uh, one soon, very soon, within within a month, I think. Crazy boys, they're already about 15 pounds a piece. I think uh, Arthas might be a little bit heavier. Not 100% sure. Speaking of, we got we got Arthas right here. Yeah, see, there's Arthas. There's all its tux. There's Arthas right there. See, him's getting off the wall. There's my boys. Freaking huge already. I love these boys. I miss Chewy very much. He was an amazing boy. I just... 
It hurts. I had him for 10 years, almost 11. And he got really ill, and unfortunately, the vet bills got too much to handle. And he just wasn't pulling through. It was rough. And then a couple months later, I ended up with these guys, which was direly needed. Uh, I was stuck at home at that point in time. It was just after I got, got ran over by the forklift that uh, I lost Chewy. And I was home alone by my, for, you know, all day. And I just, I couldn't deal with it. So we ended up getting a couple kitties. And I never expected them to be this huge, this fast. It's, it's crazy. All right, well, this is it for Wednesday, February, February <laughs> April 19th. Thank you for sticking around if you did. If not, you're not seeing this anyway, so... Yeah! <laughs> All right, well, peace out, everybody. I'm trying to leave this at just the right length of video.